Hey, John. Yeah? Knock, knock. <sighs> Who's there? Not John Cena. <laughs> I can't see him. What? <laughs> Diagnosis, nothing. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lad. We are in another video on Military Tycoon and we have a new map and a Stealth F-14 this week. Now if you are new, this is the third F-14 that they are giving us. We have the regular F-14, the Super F-14 which I really like and the Stealth F-14 in this week's update. You need 250,000 points to get a Stealth F-14. Um, you know what? That is actually not accurate. I am in this server for creators to make videos. They usually have leaks a couple of days before but information like requirements and the actual values are usually not accurate. Let me know. Let me know if you want this kind of information in the comments below. I mean they are always roughly the same. If you do not need this information, I can usually release the video maybe a day before the update drops. But if many of you want the information on requirements, then I will have to wait till the update is out before I can make the video. Personally, I prefer releasing videos after the update drops as information are accurate. And I don't really prefer the server for us to make videos right now because the progress are reset. Yeah, so let me know in the comments below. Anyway, you get a Stealth F14 automatically when you accumulated sufficient points. The stats looks awesome. I don't really know what the fire means yet, but it looks really promising. Speed is 150 at level 1, but 206 at level 50. This is the final stats at level 50. I upgraded to level 50 this time round. Pretty decent speed and agility. The wings fall like its F-14 brothers when you ascend or descend. No hovering capabilities. The primary weapon is the cloak. The stealth is not something new. The F117 and the Nova Blitz have them too. In fact, the F117 is a buildable and anyone can get a stealth plane. Like the F117 and the Nova Blitz, the cloak makes the jet harder to see and unable to be locked on. But the jet fuels at the back do give your location away. The cloak wears off the moment you get shot. I want to point out that the lock-on time on the Stealth F-14 is the same as other vehicles. There is no longer lock-on time like the Stealth F-35 or the Comanche. My alternate account is on a Stealth F-14 but the lock-on time is the same. As for the secondary weapon, they are just regular guided missiles. There are 4 missiles. It requires 6 missiles to destroy an NPC plane. So I think the damage is quite low. 6 missiles is quite a lot on an NPC plane which has lower health than most player planes. It cannot even destroy the NPC plane within one reload. What about the health? 7 to 8 heat knife slashers to destroy it. I am going to use heat knife to test for health from now on. I think that is more standard. Oh, there is a passenger seat but it seems that I cannot get onto it. Onto the map. There aren't big changes to the core playable mechanism of the map. There is still a bank and an infinity tower. However, the nuke AFK method is less effective now. Fortresses are spaced far apart now. There are deserted villages like the Mesa map we had 2 maps ago. And the surrounding looks more Mesa now. This really resembles the Mesa map in the past except the central area is not a fortress, but a city. There are also names in each quadrant now, so it makes identifying of fortresses much easier. Let me fly up. This is the entire map, made up of 4 quadrants like usual. 